Hey guys, got a brand new video for you today, and we've got a problem with my drone, my Phantom 3 Professional here. Um, I was doing this corporate job, just flying it and getting some shots, and out of nowhere, uh, the video started going all shaky and all crazy, and I was like, oh crap, we're going to lose a propeller. So I flew it back, and I had it just kind of hovering here in front of me like this, and uh, the drone was still stable, but I could hear the gimbal making this kind of like growling sound, and I could see that it was like going shaky. And so I was like, oh, I guess there's a problem with the gimbal. So um, with further inspection, if we flip this over here, I don't worry too much about the like metal that's all chewed up there. That was from a previous thing that I had to fix a gimbal last year when it uh, crashed and bent it. I fixed it with like vice grips. So that's why it's all chewed up. But if you look at it closely here, you can see there's some like major play in this arm. And there's a set screw if I flip it around here, I've got this here to show you, right in here, that needs to be tightened, and that'll fix all this play that this has. So you can see it really moving up and down in there. So what you're gonna need is an Allen key. Um, I don't have one small enough, but I found this screwdriver with a Torx bit that fits it perfectly. I know it's not exactly the same, but this is Lee's ghetto workshop, so I'm gonna tighten up with this and hopefully the gimbal should be fixed because I think that right now the main like control like uh, shaft or whatever that's coming down that that's mounted to isn't getting the right stability that it needs in order to stay uh, stable so the gimbal can bounce. So, so I'm hoping that when I tighten this, this should fix it. And uh, yeah, so let's do that. Now you gotta kind of have it so it's not touching the bottom of like the main brains for the camera and also not touching the back half of this little brace here. So it's got to kind of be in the middle. And yeah, it's loose, so I can tighten it up good there. So that should be all it takes to fix that. It feels way more solid now. I'll flip this back over and turn it on, and hopefully that fixed it. So as you can see, we turn it back on, the gimbal's not making all those weird noises and it seems to be functioning perfectly. So uh, that seems to be the fix for this. Um, obviously if you do this and it's still going haywire, check one of the connections, there's some wires here. Um, otherwise you may have a faulty gimbal and it might need to be replaced. Uh, in my case, I'm lucky. I think that's the only problem. And uh, yeah, so let's take it up and do some test footage and see what it looks like. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you disliked it, give it two thumbs down. And I'll see you in the next one.